Good evening, Gladys. Hi, teacher. How are you? What? How are you? I'm fine. Great. I'm fine. Okay. Yes. How was your day? Um, good. Okay. Mucho trabajo. You had a lot of work. Okay. Oh. And Gladys, have you finished with all the exercises and everything in the platform? Yes, yes. You did. Okay. I finished. All right. That's great. Did you get your certificate? Um, solo una me, bueno, en español lo voy a decir. Okay. Solo una no contesté porque no, no, no encontré la respuesta. Oh. Quedé en la sección remember? dos de un, de un. Section two. We could check it if you'd like to. Let's see. Uh -huh, pero ahorita ya está, ahí se, no sé si puedo abrir. Porque okay. ya descargué el diploma. You got it, okay. So it's section two. Do you remember what exercise or what lesson it was? Okay. Oh. El, el 2.13. 2.13. Oh, it's a listening exercise. Okay. El 3. Three, three. Is it 13 or 3? El, el 2.13. 13, okay. All right, so it says, listen to Jason and Barbara talk about their vacation, write the answers for each person. Yes, eh, el que no me salió, que lo coloqué de varias formas, es el tres. Where did, Barbara, where did Barbara go? And do you remember the answer that you had? Yo creía que era Jean o... Jim. Oh, pero... Okay, so maybe we could listen to it. Let's let me just play it once. There we go. Yes. Listening. Welcome back. Listen to Jason and Barbara talk about their vacations. Complete the chart. Jason, hi, welcome back. You were away last week, right? Yeah, I was on vacation. Where did you go? I went to San Francisco. Nice. How was it? Oh, I loved it. What did you like most about it? Well, San Francisco is such a beautiful place, and the weather was actually pretty nice. Well, that sounds more exciting than my last vacation. What did you do, Barbara? I just stayed home. I don't have enough money to take a trip anywhere. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, not really. I actually enjoyed my vacation. I went to the gym every day, and I lost three pounds. Well, that's great. Good for you. Okay, so, yeah, it actually mentions that Barbara went to the gym, but I believe that the answer here would be that she stayed home. Let me just double check it. Yeah, exactly. You should write that she stayed oh. home. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, she mentioned she stayed home and okay. one of the activities she did was going to the gym. But the main thing is stayed home. She said. 
She stayed okay. home. Y se quedó en casa. Okay, do you have oh. any other questions, Gladys? Uh, no, no, ya terminé. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. So, good evening, everybody. Good. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine. Very good. Excellent. I'm glad to hear you. Okay, so I think we may start with our class now. This is our last class. Isn't it exciting? And then we're on vacation for a couple of days. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Cuando inicia de nuevo las, las, las clases en línea? Yes, we do not really have a, a starting date yet. So we are just um, expecting to have our next course in January, but we do not have a date. So we're going to be informed about it. And once we, we start with all the, I mean, once we finish vacation, you're going to get informed about it because now we do not know yet. Okay. All right, so um, the first thing I want to do today is, Okay, just give me a second. My computer is not working. Okay, meanwhile, let me tell you, we're going to start by reviewing the verbs in the, in the past participle form. So I'm going to show you verbs and I'm going to ask one of you for the past participle form. For example, the first one, Edwin, what's the past participle for it? Uh, hey. Ethan. Eden, that's right. Hector, the past participle of B. Bean. Exactly, we got B, Bean. Gladys, have. Have. What's the past participle? Had. Had, that's right. Ana Maria, say. No estoy segura. Say it. Yes. Said. Sergio, next one. Do. Down, teacher. Down. Thank you. Stephanie, go. Gone. Gone, that's right. Daniel, get. Hmm. I don't remember, but I say get, get, get. Okay, got it, it. Looks like gotten, exactly. And here we could also um, have a second form, which would be get. So you could say that the past participle of get is gotten or get. In some sentences you would find that they use this form. Teacher, hi. I have a question. Tell me. And um, we can use God in present. In the present perfect, yes. For example, I got a shirt. Yes, I've got a sh a shirt that would be fine. You could say I have gotten or I have got. Both of them oh. are correct. Oh, okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, Mauricio. Next verb is make. Made. Made, that's right. Then Ana Maria, no. No remember. Okay, can no. somebody else 
none. That's right. Number 10, think. Hector. No. <clears throat> that. Franklin, take. Take. Uh, I don't know. I don't remember. Taken. 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 Okay, okay. Next one, Gladys. C. Sub or such. So would be the simple past. In the past participle is. Uh, can the I other don't know. help, please? Okay. Can the so, other help? Seen. Seen. Okay, now please everybody repeat. Eden. 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 Bean. 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 Had. 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 Dumb. Gun. 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 Got in. Got in. Gut. 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 Made. Made. None. No. Dot. Dot. Taken. 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 Sin. Same. Same. Okay, then I have some other verbs. Let me guess. Where are the other verbs? Okay, then we have come. What's the past participle? Came. Came is come. a simple past form. And come. Yeah, it gets back to come in the past come. participle form. Point. What's the past participle? One. 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 How do we pronounce it? Wanted. 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 Look becomes. Look. Okay. Looked. 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 Use. Use it. Use it. Used. 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 Find. 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 What's the past participle of find? Found. Found. Ah. Found. Tell. Tell. Told. 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 Mm. Work. Work it. Work it. How do we pronounce it? Worked. 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 Then we have the verb call. What's the past Cold. 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 Try. 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 Tried. Try. Feel. 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 Felt. Yeah. Become. Became. Became. became is the simple past. The past become. Uh, become. The past participle become. is become again. Learn. Learned. 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 Exactly. Now let's practice pronunciation. Repeat after me, please. Come. 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 Wanted. 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 Looked. 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 Used. 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 Found. 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 Told. Told. Worked. 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 Cold. 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 Tried. 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 Felt. 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 Become. 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 Learned. Learn. Okay, so now let's remember about the topic that we studied yesterday. It was using the present perfect with for and since. And what do you remember about them? When do we use for and when do we use since? What do you remember? 
No, teacher, I don't remember. You don't four, remember, okay. Four is a specific time of event. Is it four? Six. It's a period of time and science is a specific moment. Exactly. Four is used whenever we're talking about or we're referring to a period of time. And since is used to refer to a starting point, a specific moment when something started. Then over here I have some different phrases and we're going to complete them by using for or since. For example, in the first one, do I say for I finished school or since I finished school? Since. 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 Number two, a couple of Oh, it should be days. Four. 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 Four a couple of days. My Four birthday. my birthday. For my birthday or since my birthday? Since. For my birthday. In this case, we should say since. Since my birthday. Because my birthday isn't really a period of time. Therefore, we need to mark it as a starting point for something. Then we have a long time. Four or six. For a long four. time. Four. For a long four. time. Ten centuries. Four or six. Four. Four. Four ten centuries. The 70s. Six. Ten. Ten. Since the last month. Since. Since. Since the last month. 15 years. Four. For 15 years. The accident. Since. 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 Since the accident. I met you. Four. Since. Four or since. Since. I met you. Since. Since. Say since I met you. Okay, now please repeat after me. Since I finished school. We say since. 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 For. 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 For a couple of days. For a couple For of days. Of since my birthday. Since my birthday. my birthday. For a long time. For, For a long time. time. For, ten For, ten For ten centuries. For ten centuries. For Since the seventies. Since, Since the seventies. Since the last month. Since the last month. month. For 15 years. For, For 15, 15 years. years. Since the accident. Since the accident. Since I met you. Since I met you. Okay, so this is what we are going to do now in order to practice. I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms and I want you to use, to use those phrases in sentences. You can make some sentences either in the affirmative or negative form. Or if you prefer to make questions, that is that is fine. And for example, you could say, I haven't been to my, let's see, um, I haven't been to the um, to New York since I finished school. Or I have been in London for a couple of days and so on. Just think about sentences that may match with the meaning of the phrases using for and since. So I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms right now and I'm sending a picture of this to the WhatsApp group. There you go.
sign es como de este y for es por. Para. Para. No, ok. For. Por, no, pero, por perdón, un par de días. Por ejemplo, en number two, for a couple of days, por un par de días. Since I finished school, desde que terminé la escuela. Ok. Pero también se ocupa para, para, ¿verdad? Sí, también se ocupa para, para, pero eh, no en el caso cuando lo utilizamos con el present perfect. Ah, Ok. Sí, podría no, ser pues, para, por ejemplo, cuando digo, I got a gift for you. Compré o tengo un regalo para ti. En ese caso, sí lo traducimos como para. Ok. Este, no sé si pueden ver la pantalla. Creo que tengo problemas. Sí, sí se puede. Oh, ok, 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 ok. Es que me pareció, no sé, como un mensaje de error o algo así. Entonces, por eso tenía duda. Ah, uh, ok. Qué oración. Ok. Hi there. Hi. Hi, teacher. Tell me. Eh, no entiendo mucho lo que vamos a hacer. Okay, you're going to use the phrases with for and since in sentences. So you just have to make sentences using those things. Teacher. Yes? What, what example we could be? Uh, I have been working since finish the finish school. Exactly, yes, I have been working since I finished school. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Do you have any other questions? May I help you in any other way? No, Tisha. Okay. All right, so I'm leaving. I may come back later, okay? Okay, Tisha. We have the... Oh, so, my parents have been on vacation space Monday. But we have to use for or since. My parents has have been, has been. My parents had been on vacation space Monday. Why are we using the space for or since? Uh, science. It will be Sin. 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 Mm -hmm. For example, you. Hello, do you need any help? Hello, teacher. How are you doing? Are you making your sentences? Yes. Yes. We are looking to make uh, another sentences. Oh, okay. All right, that's fine. For example, uh, uh, we will be on vacation. We will be on Christmas vacation. Uh, since uh, for three days. Okay. 
Okay, that is correct. Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's good. Except that you are not using the present perfect. Just try to use it, please. Okay. We have been in class since yeah. mm -hmm. He has to stay in a hotel last week. Okay. He has to stay science in a hotel last week. In last week, you should, you should say. Um, he has been in a hotel since last week. Mm. <laughs> so we need to combine this with uh, uh, with past participle, right? Yes. yes. Yes, you should use the present perfect. Ah, okay. 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 Creo que bueno, depende de la estructura de la oración, creo. Uh -huh. O podríamos combinarlo, ahí habría que pensar bien cómo sería. Uh, uh, science and yes. Hello, do you need any help? Uh, yes. Hey. Okay, <laughs> question. Me. What happened? Verbo, ¿Debemos utilizar verbo solo en pasado o podemos conjugar sin eh, and for con verbos en presente y en futuro? Well, you can, but in this case, eh, we should do the practice using the present perfect, but it is possible. For example, when you say we will be on vacation for three days, there you're using for with the future. So it's possible. Mm -hmm. It's okay to use it. Ah, okay. Podría hacer algo así como science that seventies the technology advanced very fast. Okay. Oh. There you can also use the present perfect. The technology has advanced. Very fast. Yes. That will be fine. Uh -huh. Okay. Eh, estaría bien. Since I finish school, we celebrate went at beat. Teacher. Um, since I finished school, we celebrated going to the beach. That's what you're saying, right? Going. Yes, going that would be correct. Beach. Yeah, but in that case, we are using scenes in a different way. It would be just a connector. Okay. It's not acting exactly as a as an uh, Okay, teacher, it's correct. Uh, I haven't been to the beach for a long time. That is fine. Está bien. Yes. Okay. Okay. Teacher, entiendo aquí que como eh, en español podría decirse, dice, ya que finalicé la escuela, estamos celebrando o vamos a celebrar Exacto. en la playa. Ajá. Okay. Sí. Es como de los... Nada Ajá. más okay. que le mencionaba que ese since no va como un adverbio, así como lo estamos utilizando acá en estas frases, sino que en el caso de la oración que me dice se utiliza como un conector, como un link, ya que pasa esto, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí únicamente está cumpliendo la función de conectar las dos ideas. Ajá. ¿Y puede ir al inicio, en medio, al final o solamente al inicio? Tanto se puede utilizar en distintos que... lugares, sí. Okay. ok. Pero con el present perfect normalmente lo utilizamos al final por el sentido de las oraciones. Ah. No puede iniciar la oración así. Tendré que ir al final o medio. 
Sí, normalmente porque, eh, no sé si tienen algún ejemplo por ahí. For a long time I drank coffee with milk. For a long time I drank coffee with milk. That is fine. Sí, ese sí se puede decir de esa forma. No hay problema. Ok. Sí, todo depende de, del sentido de la oración. Siempre y cuando mantengamos el significado, no, no hay problema si lo ponemos al inicio o al final. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. O sea, eh, I, for example, teacher, uh, I like it uh, beer for 15 years. I like beer for 15 years. Ah, ajá, quiero decir algo así como que me gustaron, me gustaron las cervezas durante 15 años. Ah, ok. In that case, um, you use the simple past. En ese caso necesitaríamos el simple past, no el past perfect, el present perfect, perdón. Ajá. Porque estamos hablando de un periodo que ya finalizó, esos 15 años, pues ya fueron ese, ese periodo de tiempo y nada más, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Oh, ok. Okay, okay, okay. En cambio, si lo decimos utilizando el present perfect, estaríamos refiriéndonos a que eh, hace 15 años que me gusta la cerveza, pero todavía me sigue gustando. Entonces, uh -huh. es como les decía, pasado que se relaciona con el presente, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. okay. otro ejemplo ¿Cómo se pone cómo se escribe obtener? ¿Qué palabra disculpa? Obtener o, o cómo sería para decir eh, encontré un nuevo trabajo o obtuve un nuevo trabajo, no sé. Get o You use get. Get. Ok. Podría utilizarlo así, Lick. I went home since last month. I had a new, a new job. I went home since last month. I had a new job. Mm, well, it doesn't really sound well to me. Maybe um, you could say it like, I got back home since I have found a new job. Something like that. Agregarle home uh, the parents. Oh, my parents' home. Pero, ¿qué, ¿qué es lo que quiere decir? Sí. Que me fui a la casa de mis papás, de mi amigo, donde estaba viviendo antes, uh -huh. ya que tuve un nuevo trabajo. Pero creo que ahí también tendría que agregar el hecho de que es en otro lado, ¿verdad? Ajá. Sí, en ser ese caso sería... Exacto. Ser más específico, podemos utilizar el verbo get back. I got back to my parents' home or to my parents' house. Since I got a new job. Mm -hmm. okay. Teacher, e, e, for example, mm, I have a new car since last month. I have a new car since last month, is correct? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we're going back to the main room right now. Okay, teacher. Okay. Welcome back. Do we have any questions or any doubts about the use of for and since? 
No, okay. Good. Now we are starting a new lesson that would be present perfect versus simple past. So first of all, let's watch the video all together and then we're going to explain it. Hello to all. In this lesson, we will learn when to use present perfect versus simple past. What we're about to watch is question form in present perfect. Notice the way to answer. Present perfect versus simple past. Use the present perfect for an indefinite time in the past. Use the simple past for a specific event in the past. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Yes, I have. I ate it once in Paris. No, I haven't. I've never eaten it. Have you ever had green curry? Yes, I have. I tried it several years ago. No, I haven't. I've never had it. Okay, so here you see some examples on how to use both the present perfect and the simple past together in the same situation. So we say that we use the present perfect for an indefinite time in the past. Like when we, when we ask, have you ever eaten Moroccan food? We are not really defining that time or you are not asking about last year, for instance, you're just talking about an indefinite time in the past. And then uh, whenever you're talking about a specific event in the past, you use the simple past. As when you say, I ate it once in Paris, you're referring to that one time when you went to Paris and you ate Moroccan food. Then we have a second example, which goes like, have you ever had green curry? Once again, I am not mentioning any, any specific time in the past. I'm not talking about yesterday, not about the last week or last month, last year or anything. I'm just talking in general, right, about the past. I do not really care about when that happened. I just want to know if you have ever had that. And then um, notice that in the answer, we use the, the simple past again. And we say, I tried it several years ago. So you're referring to that one time specifically. Vamos a utilizar el presente perfecto cuando estamos hablando de un momento en el pasado del que no estamos eh, especificando o definiendo. Pero si hablo de una situación en específico, de un momento en específico, entonces debo utilizar el, el presente simple, eh, perdón, el pasado simple, simple past. Por ejemplo, eh, Cuando le pregunto, have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Solo le estoy haciendo la pregunta de si alguna vez ha comido eh, o ha probado la comida, oh, how do you say Moroccan in Spanish? Um, help me with Marruecos, that. Marruecos. The, yeah, Marruecos. Marruecos, I guess. Thanks. So, ¿alguna vez ha probado Marruecos. o ha comido comida marrueca? Entonces me dice, sí, lo he hecho. Quería, Comí quería marroquí quizá. Marroquí, yes, that's the word. Thanks, Héctor. Yeah, comida marroquí. Then we say, yes, I no, have. No, no. Sí, lo he hecho. Comí una vez en París. Entonces ahí ya lo dice en el pasado simple, porque se está refiriendo a ese momento en que usted fue a París y ahí la probó. Que fue, eh, podría ser hace dos años, hace tres años o el mes pasado, pero eh, son momentos que ya terminaron, entonces pues no podemos hacer más que definirlos como simple past, porque ya no se conectan con el presente, digamos. En ese caso entonces el verbo no, no, no cambia, se, man, se mantiene normal. En este caso lo utilizamos como simple past, entonces sería la forma eight. Ajá. Y dependerá de lo que estoy diciendo. Por ejemplo, acá en la segunda respuesta puede ver que utilizamos nuevamente el present perfect. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. I've never eaten it. Nunca la he comido. 
negativa. Entonces, dependerá del tipo de respuesta que usted está dando. Por ejemplo, acá en la primera, si está especificando sobre la vez en que probó la comida, está hablando de, de algo que hizo en el pasado, en cierto momento. Por eso utilizamos el simple past. Y en la segunda, solo dice que no, que no la ha comido. No sé si estamos entendiendo más o menos ahí la idea entre, de la diferencia entre el presente perfecto y el pasado simple. ¿Qué me dice? Ok, so in order to practice, I got some questions for you to answer. Let me go. Oh, first of all, let me tell you about this information. So um, we use the simple past whenever we express finish time. For example, we say we lived in Japan from 1995 to 1997. El 1995 al 97 ya terminó, ¿verdad? Es un tiempo pasado que ya no se relaciona en ninguna forma al presente. Y pues es, it's over. Entonces, por eso utilizamos el simple past en ese tipo de oración. Cuando me refiero a cierta fecha o a cierto periodo de tiempo, a cierto momento en el pasado, siempre escojo el simple past. Then also, whenever you refer to a specific time, you say, for example, I saw the Eiffel Tower in 2013. You're referring to something that happened specifically in 2013, which is a year that is over once again. Therefore, you should say that you saw it. Another use for the simple past would be that it indicates series of finished actions. For example, first he read the book and then he watched the movie. Then let's talk about the present perfect. We use it to describe unfinished time. I've worked as a, as a teacher since 2016. So that means that I'm still working as a teacher um, now, right? These days, I'm still working as a teacher. I'm just mentioning that I started working as a teacher in 2016. And another use for the present perfect would be that it refers to indefinite time. For example, whenever I mention I have traveled to France. I have traveled to France I, I did it and I did it. Then if I change it and I say, for example, I traveled to France in 2011, then in that case, I need to change the sentence to the simple past because I'm mentioning a specific time. But here I'm just mentioning that I have had that experience. I have traveled to France. I am not telling you when. Another use for the present perfect is that it expresses experience or result. She has already watched this movie three times. So we're just talking about those three times. We do not care when they were, if they were last week or if, if she did that last year or just whenever it was, it was done. Okay, so now I got some questions for you to practice. Uh, well. Because of the time, we're just going to keep it as, well, let's keep it to two, two questions. So, for example, number one, Stephanie, let me ask you, have you ever ridden a horse, a camel, or an elephant? Have you ever ridden a horse, a camel, or an elephant? Tell me the answer about yourself. Uh, no, not I haven't. I have right, right. Reading? I haven't written, reading a horse, a camel, or an elephant. Okay, that's good. Edwin Castro, have you ever ridden a horse, a camel, or an elephant? Uh, have you ever stayed away for more oh. than... 24 hours. Edwin, listen to my question. Uh -huh. 
Have you ever ridden a horse, a camel, or an elephant? Have you? Tell me about yourself. Mm, no, no, I, I haven't. You haven't. Okay, has anybody ever ridden a horse, a camel, or an elephant? Anybody? No, I... I, have, I have ridden a horse. Oh, you have ridden a horse. Okay, so can you tell me about that experience? When did you do it? Uh, when I when I was teenager. Okay, so you rode a horse when you were a teenager. All right, and how was it? Uh, 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 so difficult because uh, a horse uh, you need to have more practice. Oh, okay. So it's it was fine. difficult for you. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. All right. So that's how you use both the present, the present perfect and the simple past in the same situation. So I asked Hector, have you ever ridden a horse, a camel, or an elephant? Then he said, yes, I have. When was it? When I was a teenager. So that is simple past, right? When I was a teenager. Then it was difficult. There you're talking about that one time, that specific time when you rode the horse. Then let me ask the second question to Franklin. Franklin, have you ever stayed awake for more than 24 hours? Uh, I, I don't awake for more than, for than 24 hours. You haven't. Okay. I haven't. All right, Gladys, Gladys, have you? Have you ever stayed awake for more than 24 hours? Um, no. You have not? No, I have Okay. Let me ask Andrea, Andrea Araceli. Have you ever failed a test? Yes, I have. When was it? When I, um, when I was studying. <laughs> when you were studying in the school or at the university? Um, I think in high school and university. And okay. Uh-huh. All right. Thanks, Andrea, for sharing. So once again, you see, I started asking a question in the present perfect. Then Andrea told us about the exams she had failed when she was in high school. Okay, now um, we just have a couple of minutes. We are just going to explore the final exam. I know many of you have already taken it, but uh, we're just going to check it pretty quickly and we are going to clarify the in the directions or instructions. So it starts with a listening exercise and you have to listen to the conversations and click the correct information. So here you have the audio. You click on it and you play it. The most you should listen to it is three times. You should try to just solve the exercise with two, two times of listening. And then you just have to mark the correct answer. Over here, you have three options. You select the correct one. Then the next part is complete conversations. You have to use the present perfect of the verbs. Over here you have, for example, have you and have you to any good movie lately? And you must use the verb be in order to complete that question. Then we have a second part where we have to read the sentences and choose the correct answer. There you have, for example, I lived in London and you have the options for and since. Five years, I loved every minute I was there. Next part says, choose the correct answer. 
read the following sentences and choose the correct word. You should complete the or fill in the blanks using one of the words that you are given. For example, in number one, we got my brother is in, about, or at his 20s. You choose the correct one. Part D, rewrite and unscramble sentences. Put the words in the correct order to make sentences or questions. And we have already solved it here all together as well. You are just making sentences by putting the words in the correct order. Then in part E, we have a reading. We have to read Sarah's email, then check for things she can do in her neighborhood. So once again, it's not important to understand each of the words, but to get the meaning of all the, all the text. Yeah. And then the specific information that you should get in this case is the activities, right? The activities she can do or the things she can do in the neighborhood. That is the important part. And that will be all for the pre-intermediate two course. Do we have any questions about the final exam? Not the chair. All right. So that will be all for this course. It was a pleasure for me to be here with you. I hope to see you soon. Take care. Have a nice holiday. And uh, well, good luck, everybody. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Take care. Bye. 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 Thank you.